Hello, hello, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna begin by apologizing that it's been like three weeks since my last video. So I am truly sorry. I have been trying to cut back on bindings and I've also been waiting on certain items to come in so I could get them. Now, in Ireland, we have been in lockdown, obviously, and we're kind of out of it now. So I did want to go into the physical store and actually check out if there was anything else I liked before making this video. So, as the title suggests, football and fashion, fashion football, whatever way you want to say it, this is what it's about, and this is what we're going to go get. Let's go. Right, I'm going to make the video as short and as sweet as possible, because I do tend to ramble, especially on my last few videos. So, I'm just going to start off with a pet peeve, okay? Pet peeve of mine would be events dictate what we wear, and it's something that we probably aren't aware of until someone mentions it, and it's just like, oh yeah, I never really thought of that. Like, this happened to me, okay? So, for example, stripes and linen, um, for summer wear for women in particular, is suggested every year, and it's suggested as if it's groundbreaking, right? So, instead of being like, wear your white linen top with your stripes, and then three-quarter lengths, linen pants, and your sandals, and you're good to go. You know, every year it's the same thing and every year they act as if it's groundbreaking. It's not. It really isn't. I want to hear some stylists come out and say, I want your head to toe cashmere wool blend, all black sneakers on and a backpack with weights in it. Have a day at the beach and let me see how you get on. It's just not going to happen, right? So, what I'm trying to get at is events definitely dictate what we wear and how we wear it. So, with the Euros coming up, they're definitely brands that have major foresight about, you know, people are going to be looking after, you know, footballing related news, all that good stuff. So we did see a few collaborations pop up. Now collaborations have always been going on. You've got Jordan and PSG, um, Nowhere FC and AS Roma. What else you have? You have Off-White and Nike. All these really cool, you know, collaborations that have been, you know, put together well and marketed well. Palace and Juventus was the other one. So yeah, these are the kind of newest ones that I'd like to kind of bring to your attention that I've actually bought and worn. So without further ado, I'm just gonna show you the pieces. So first up, we have Lovers FC collaboration with H&M. Okay, so this is the first one. I know what I just said about stripes, completely get it. First thing I show you is stripes, but it doesn't matter, I'm not going to the beach. This is 100% recycled polyester. It feels like one of them fake jerseys you'd buy as a kid in Spain. Um, I do really like it. I love the collar. Will I get enough wear out of this? Probably not. Um, I will put up the prices and the sizing I got in it. But I just thought it was something different. And again, I was sucked into the old football hype. I then got the green short sleeve. Again, 100% polyester. If you're wearing this in the summer, you will sweat. Like, it's not breathable at all. Now, in terms of collaborations, we have Hector Bellerin's collaboration with H&M. I did a blog post on this. I love, I absolutely love the stuff, and that's what I was waiting on uh, for the stores to open to see if they had it in store. They didn't, shock. Um, but yeah, H&M, the quality is gonna be bad, and I was hoping with Hector Bellerin, he'd you know, have a bit of a say in it and kind of up the quality. The quality isn't great. There's treads coming out here, the buttons, and I've worn it. I've worn it a good bit, but I haven't worn it enough for treads to be pulled. Next up then, I got the jeans from the Hector Beller and H&M collaboration. These are unbelievable. This is the best, the best item of the whole collection. The quality is actually unreal. And when they say baggy, it is baggy. You know, I always have that fear when people say, oh, this is gonna be baggy, and it's not actually that baggy, it's more slim. And finally then, we have Kit Boys, all the way from Atlanta. So this is a guy I know, it's his brand, it's incredible, absolutely incredible, and you can't get it in Europe yet, yet. I must have messaged him every day for about a year to get him to send me some stuff. He eventually did, and I am over the moon with it. They're the tracksuit bottoms there. Again, I'm gonna put all these outfits together and just show you what they're like and how you can wear them. That's really it. So. I also just wanna mention that footballers um, in the fashion world. So Hector Bellerin was responsible for 424 collaboration with Arsenal and you have Tom Davis and Carver Lewin of Everton. So do you anyone remember when 
the NBA came to London and they did like an exhibition game, I think it could have been, and all these footballers went and literally all of them were wearing Fendi. I remember Wilfred Zaha was wearing like a puffer, Fendi puffer, Fendi sweater, Fendi jeans, like head to toe. Like when you have that much money, obviously you can afford to buy the big brands and stuff like that. But it's just really, for me, that's the difference between, you know, drip. Ice came through dripping, drip, drip. And uh, class, you know, like Calvert Lewin, Tom Davis, I'll put up a picture of the both of them. They just have it down to a T. They have obviously a lot of money to be buying on clothes, but yet, I'm not saying they're buying cheap clothes, they're buying just individual items that just goes into their aesthetic. And it's fashion and football done right, in my opinion. Hector Bellerin is another one of these um, people that I kind of judge in a lesser light because he plays for Arsenal. But in fairness to the guy, the guy can dress and he has a very cool aesthetic. So it's just one of them things that when you see footballers, you look at like, I don't know, your Cristiano Ronaldo who was wearing like a Louis Vuitton shirt and Louis Vuitton shorts. It's very hard and to find players that actually dress really well, especially when they have that money, you know. So it's just worth keeping an eye out and following people that actually do have a genuine fashion interest and are not just following the big brands and stuff like that. So yeah, I put all the pictures up and you can see them and just see how you get on. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. When you're talking about athletic wear, right, and athletic leisure wear, it is important to remember that you can dress things differently, right? So you know, like formal, informal, all that good stuff, you know, you're wearing a hoodie with suit pants and stuff like that. It can be very cool or a hoodie under your blazer when you're wearing a suit and then you know, wearing runners with a suit, just little things like that. When you switch, you know, the playing fields of it, they can be a very, very cool look. So for instance, these I'm gonna wear with, you know, trousers. This I might wear with tracksuit bottoms. The jacket, again, I might wear with jeans. It's just important and it's a really cool tip that mix and match, like you can put a formal wear with informal wear and they'll just carry it that bit longer. You'll see obviously when I put the outfits together, how I wear them. Like you wear this with tracksuit bottoms, it's gonna be a very athletic look and it's gonna take away from the fact of what you're trying to achieve. You know, you wanna make sports wear fashionable. So these, if you wear them with shorts or you can, you know, chuck that underneath there, it's just really cool just to mix and match and have fun with it again. Obviously, what you want to wear is what you want to wear, but it's just an idea to keep in mind when you know you're going through the video and looking at it. Like you can actually have something here that could be sports related. You know, Carl Buxton, for instance, is boxing inspired. So just keep in mind that you can mix and match, and just people forget it. You know, just because you're wearing a football jersey doesn't mean you have to wear football shorts. You know, <laughs> you go into town with this shorts and football boots on, get your shinies on when you're heading into the pub. No. You just mix and match and just see how you get on.
So that's going to be it from me. Again, I apologize for taking so long uh, for posting the video. I know you are absolutely dying. You are literally waking up every day and be like, please tell me John's posted a video today, please man. Please tell me John stop skipping and posted a video on YouTube. So I am actually genuinely sorry. I was waiting for stuff to come in, like I said. Again, I just wanted to make this video as short and as sweet as possible because not everyone has the time to be going through word for word what I'm saying and stuff like that. But yeah, it's just an idea to give you just further information about clothes that is available, you know, in store and online. And um, check it out. And just yeah, if this is your vibe, rock it. Like it is cool. Uh, if it's not, at least you know now, and you can save your money and spend it on something else. Cool. Have a good one. Thanks again. J O C.